Welcome into another edition of Minot State Inside Access. As always, I'm joined by head football coach Tyler Hughes, and later I'll be joined by Josh Douglas of the wrestling team. Coach, what did you tell your guys after the final game of the season in the locker room? Well, we, we talked about a few different things. I, I think the first thing is, is talk to our seniors, recognize that they were uh, given a difficult hand to play during this past mm -hmm. year and was proud of the effort that they did put in and, and the productivity that they did have. Uh, that was kind of the first thing. I, I talked to the guys about, you know, we made a lot of improvements and it didn't show uh, wins and losses necessarily, but they got significantly better as the season went on, so I was happy about that. And then the third thing uh, that we had talked about was just that, you know, when you don't have a, a, a winning season, it's, it's sometimes difficult to, for the players to get to work each day in terms of having an attitude and, um, and, and the positive energy that you want them to have. And so uh, I told them I didn't feel at all burned out by the season. I didn't feel tired on the last game. I felt like if we still had 10 more games to go, I would have been just fine. And I was a credit to them for having a good attitude and, and being uh, coachable at practice and, and willing to do the things that we'd asked them to do. So, um, you know, I think in, in large part, uh, you know, I just wanted the kids to feel like, um, to, to, to feel the positives that I saw and, and make sure that they could build on those going forward. So you touched on, you told them about a few of the positives. What do you think the biggest positive takeaway the team can take into this off season and build upon? Well, we, we, you know, we had a number of new players playing that, that were new to the league, new to the university. Um, you know, getting them to be a cohesive unit was difficult, not because they were unwilling, but it's just, it just those kind of things take time. So um, given that, all the, all the guys that came in, I think we have an opportunity to build with those players and also the guys that have already been here uh, that have been strong contributors in the past. I think those guys can continue to all meld together, plus the new recruits that we'll have coming in. Um, I just think we're just much further ahead in terms of our team, team chemistry, and that's a huge part. And we're, much, again, much further ahead in that area than we, than we were you know, a few months back. Okay, so we're into the off-season now. When does the off-season officially start? Obviously, guys can you know, work out whenever they want, but when do you know, official things start happening again? Well, we'll, we'll start and kick our off-season program into high gear in January okay. you know, in terms of our strength and conditioning player development programs, all those kind of things. Those will really take flight in January now. Over the next few weeks, we expect our players to remain active and, and uh, <clears throat> they can go and work out and, and try to uh, stay in as good of shape as possible. But I also want them to get away a little bit and, and kind of decompress from the season and, and also, you know, maybe even most importantly, finish really strong academically. Okay. So um, there's a few things they got to do over these next couple of weeks just to, to stay in the loop with us as coaches. and. Uh, we'll be very busy out recruiting, and they'll help us with that, you know, as far as being recruiting hosts. But, again, everything will really kick into high gear in January. When the offseason comes to an end, it culminates with the spring game. You were here for the first one a few days before that. What's the biggest area of improvement you want to see by the time the spring game comes around? I think our our physical makeup, you know, meaning we need we need to be a bigger, stronger, faster team. Okay. Um, so those are that's more than just one area, but I but I just think just physically we just need to really um, get better in so many different ways. Um, I, I think the other thing that, that probably is more important, and I touched on it earlier, is just chemistry. We need to really come together as a team. Um, you know, you don't you can't do anything as a team if you don't trust one another, and I think where everything was so new and, and somewhat chaotic early on in the season. I think it was hard for guys to really trust one another. And again, not because they didn't like each other, not because they didn't want to, but there just wasn't enough time to really develop that bond uh, that, that when it gets to crunch time, you know that he's going to deliver for you. And, and uh, so those two things have got to be really, really uh, important for our players in this offseason. Do you feel a little bit more comfortable now that you have a full off season ahead of you and a season behind you and you kind of have some expectations and some groundwork of where to go in the future? Yeah, definitely. You know, when I got here, I got here at the end of April, so right before the spring game and didn't have a recruiting class, didn't have an off season. It was just kind of get here and, and piece the team together as best I could. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm a big believer in having a great off season program because I think that's where your team really comes together physically, mentally, um, all those things, that's where it really comes together. And so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I think we'll have a great off-season program. And I know the kids are excited and looking forward to it. And 
we'll we'll hit the ground running and and it's going to be intense and it's and it's it's going to be intense all right <laughs> sounds good well thanks for doing this every week with me i really appreciate it um yeah. when we come back i'll be joined by josh douglas of the wrestling team Back to Minot State Inside Access. I'm joined by wrestler Josh Douglas. Uh, the team started out with two opens this year against a lot of Division One opponents. How is that going to help you guys going forward? Uh, I think it's going to help us a lot moving forward because uh, they give us a benchmark of where we think we should be. Because even though, like, yeah, we wrestled like Minnesota, the Gophers, they're you know top Division One program, mm -hmm. but uh, you know the top two division or the top Division Two programs aren't much behind them so if we want to compete with Mayville or Nebraska Kearney you know we're gonna to have to go out and face people like that okay um, was it big for you guys to have an off weekend this weekend I know you've had a few injuries on the team here yeah I know it, it helped me a lot personally because yeah. I was out last weekend also but yeah a lot of all four of our captains sat out of out of the last wow. tournament and so uh, having a weekend off is really gonna help us coming into this weekend especially since it's back to back Friday Saturday okay and those two get or those two matches duels are against Jamestown and Waldorf do you do you have like a different mentality going into those as opposed to like open tournaments um I it's looked at a little bit differently like uh, smaller things matter in dual matches that wouldn't really matter in in a tournament because in a in a dual match, you know, we need to get the bonus team points. Mm -hmm. So if we can rack up major decisions or get, get the fall or the pin, then uh, that really helps the team where we want to win as a team. Mm -hmm. But, of course, winning individually will bring the, together the team. Win. Yeah. Last year you went 14 and 14, and you got the second most points, team points on the team. What are your expectations for yourself this year and then for the team as well? Uh, for me, I don't see anything less than being an All-American. Okay. That was my last match last year. Uh, I lost to the guy who eventually became the national champ by two okay. points. Okay. So I don't see myself doing anything less than being, you know, one of the top guys in the nation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as a team, you know, I think going 500 in our dual meets, like going win, win for loss on our dual, in our dual season is kind of where we want to be this year. Okay. Um, this is your senior year, right? Yeah. Okay. What are your plans for after graduation? Um, not really sure right now. Uh, I've got a whole another year of school next oh, okay. year. So I just finish out wrestling this year and then probably stay here for my fifth year and uh, just be an assistant coach. Okay. And then after that, you know, the, the wind is going to carry me wherever it wants. You know, okay. If I get coaching offers somewhere else, then... I'll go somewhere else. If not, I'll head home. I've got a couple of job offers back home already. So. Okay. Coaching or just like other Yeah, kind of high jobs? school coach. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for your time. That does it for another episode of Minot State Inside Access. Next week, we won't be joined by head football coach Tyler Hughes. That was his final week this week, but we'll focus a little bit more on wrestling and basketball the rest of the way.